Welcome again to another MB Auto House tutorial. This is Rich from MB Auto House. And I started this new session, I uh, wanna see how it goes, it is basically MB Auto House Quick Tips. Uh, I got a request from my, one of my subscribers that's having a problem with his ML uh, and it deals with the purge system. He is getting a PO 456 code, he has erased it, it continues coming back. So now we know that there is definitely a problem with the car. Um, what I did here is I did a nice little layout. Uh, fault codes are to the left. Uh, if you have a newer car, they don't continue using these fault codes, but basically the same thing. Uh, description is, uh, sometimes you see it say, it will say slight leak in purge system. You can have a major leak in purge system. It'll say gross leak, uh, things like that. So some of the components that this system uses is your regeneration valve, also known as your mop valve, your shutoff valve, which is also called your white valve, charcoal canister, gas cap, things like that. Um, so a quick description of what your purge system is. Um, back in the days, we used to have gas tanks that vented out into atmosphere. Um, by law now, as far as emissions, especially in New York, that is against the law. So what it does is it has a whole system that reintroduces the vapors into the car to be burnt off. And when the vehicle's off, it stores it in your charcoal canister. And um, these are some of the components that were on there. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is have a little layout, show you where these components are, what they do, um, a quick list of things to check for, a lot of common things that I've ran into, and things like that. So starting off, one of the first things you're gonna always wanna do, the simplest thing to do, is check your gas cap. Basically, if you are a person that goes to full service all the time, you like to leave your car running, and as they're filling up your gas tank, you might get some of these codes. And if you don't wanna bother going to a dealership, because it's a lot of time wasting all that things, first thing you wanna do is check your gas cap, make sure the guy has actually closed this thing properly. So what you wanna do is go, uh, open the, the fuel door fuel door itself try to get anywhere from two to three clicks out of the gas cap um, erase the code and see if it comes back within a week or the same day all right so now at this point you erase the code once already um, it's come back on again uh, I have a, a good thing to look for uh, it's only on your ml 163 chassis model years about 1999 till 2005 till it came out with the newer model um, what you want to do is you're gonna have to remove the spare tire uh, You're gonna have to remove the whole tray not remove the tray, but pull it out get the, the spare tire out of the way You're gonna have to go underneath the car and there is a brace um, That kept the spare tire from going in any further that brace would actually cut into one of the lines that went straight into the charcoal canister and that fed from the filler neck um, if you look there and right around where the two looks like they're touching, a lot of times you get a lot of will rub and right where the ripples are, you will have like a little hole in there. Um, good thing to do is check it out. See if you do have a hole, you have to look really, really close. Um, best thing to do is to smoke test it, but if you don't have anything like that, just take a real close look. If it looked like it was rubbing or if you see these little notches, like a little hole in it, any hole, anything like that, um, it's not gonna work, just you're gonna have to replace the line. Um, if that is the case, replace the line, erase the code, and see if it comes back. All right, so now at this point, you erased the code once already, it came back on again. Um, now we're pretty sure that there is a malfunction with the system. And if you have a scanner where you can read more into the code, and you have something where it says, um, gross leak, major leak, things of that nature, you're gonna wanna look into your regeneration valve. You might be having a problem with that. And this is basically the pump for the system. Uh, it has one vacuum line that uh, goes directly to the intake manifold. A lot of times this valve gets stuck open or it doesn't close all the way. And that basically just now creates a vacuum leak. That's where you get the gross leak, things like that. Um, this is usually a lot of times located either by the firewall on the driver's side or sometimes even um, some somewhere behind the driver's headlamp. 
but you could always follow the line and it goes it's a big line going straight to the intake manifold um, so you're gonna want to check that to see if it's possibly is getting stuck or if you just um, you don't have anything to properly diagnose it and you want to take a chance your best bets to go in that direction again race the code and see if it comes back on all right so last thing we're going to look at is the shutoff valve um, a lot of times we do have problem with these things the code is usually for a slight leak um, not a major leak like the mount valve would um, the location is going to be on your right side because that's where your filler neck is um, behind your right rear tire you're going to find your uh, charcoal canister and your shuttle valve right next to it. Um, you're going to want to make sure this area is clear of dirt and debris. A lot of times if your charcoal canister is clogged um, when you're putting gas in it, it doesn't let you fill it up to the top because uh, it can vent out. So what you want to do is go back there, look at it, make sure it's clean, things like that. Um, make sure that if you're able to put some power to it, make sure that the valve itself closes. Um, some people call it white valve. Uh, and on these 163s, it looks like that. Uh, but want to check that out. Make sure you're getting power to it. Um, make sure that it does close. And if your code is for a slight leak, you might want to put that in. Again, race the code, see if it comes back. Um.